<laughs> okay. So, yes. So, this one, it starts when I was a young person. Well, actually, until I was a senior in high school, I was always very tired. Like, not just a little bit exhausted, but, like, I would fall asleep everywhere. Um, and then when I got to senior year of high school, I started getting crazy migraines that would just, like, take me. Like, I couldn't do anything but be in a dark room. So, I got a lot of blood tests done and found out I had hypothyroidism which is a condition where the thyroid gland doesn't produce enough thyroid hormone. And it's really common in women, especially like young women, because it's all about like hormone balance. And that is like when your body goes through puberty, you change a lot, especially women, the hormones go all over. Um, and so it's really common for people to be diagnosed with it and for when they grow up to get rid of it or change. Um, but it's easily dealt with medication or like natural thyroid support. Um, and along with hypothyroidism, often in older patients, there is more like increased levels of triglycerides and low-density lipoprotein and reduced high-density lipoprotein, which all can contribute to factors such as obesity or other like bigger problems, especially for older women. Um, so I wanted to look at what does yoga do for your thyroid, because we often here in yoga classes, like, oh, like, fully extending will, like, massage your thyroid or help. And so I wanted to see, like, what does that actually mean? Um, and one thing that I focused on personally in this article is the thyroxine medication. So they looked at specifically what does yoga do to the level of thyroxine medication that patients need to take. Um, and this was a pilot study um, conducted by these four researchers. Um, and so there's 22 healthy females with hypothyroidism, and they were all from the same apartment complex in the same place. So they like took everything, all the other contributing factors for hypothyroidism out, and they had all of their levels taken um, in addition to how much medication their doctor was prescribing them at the time. And they had, then had six months of yoga practice and a pretty intense yoga practice. So an hour a day for four days a week for six months. Um, and one thing, so they found significant reduction in total cholesterol, significant improvement in HDL cholesterol. And the most important thing of what I was mostly looking at, and, or what I felt was most significant, is the medication could be reduced. So the mean thyroxine medication score significantly reduced, um, which is pretty interesting because they didn't see a significant reduction in the serum thyroid stimulating hormone. Um, so basically showing that yoga was the reason that they could reduce the thyroxine medication itself. Um, and that's important because medication and blood tests and endocrinologists and being tired all the time and all of that is, takes a big toll on life. <laughs> and by like using the dynamic practice of yoga, just like our bodies, it can actually help intervene with that. Um, and this was the first study to look at yoga intervention and objective measures such as like thyroxine medication, so the effects of yoga on kind of Western medicine as we call it. Um, and one thing that I thought was interesting is when I was practicing a lot of yoga eat with the same amount of thyroxine medication, I was becoming more tired, which is a sign that I had too much thyroid stimulating hormone. Um, and when I reduced that, I became less tired, which was Pretty cool. So this is in my own experience. Thank you.